Hello everybody, this is White Wolf and we're going to be having a discussion today about your relationship with the Creator, your relationship with God, and your own journey and focusing and staying in your own lane and staying within your own vibration and not letting spiritual vampires out there infiltrate your energy and also just about giving our power away to other masters and teachings and people who are examples of Source and they are individuation of creation and that we are still human at the end of the day and we are God in human form. We are a lot like Jesus in that aspect. But what I want you guys to understand is about following your own intuition and your own internal vibration and your own internal journey. And the external will work itself out in understanding that we are here for this human experience to spread love, to spread belonging, to spread consciousness to others' hearts and minds. And understanding that we're here to be leaders we're not here to be followers. We're here to not only allow people to follow their own journey. We're not trying to build followers. We're not trying to have so much influence. And we're not here to put ourselves on a pedestal and treat ourselves like we're the next Dalai Lama or the second coming of Jesus. Because I'm not the second coming of Jesus. And I don't believe anybody out here is the second coming of Jesus. Because if, it, if there was a second coming of Jesus, I think we would know. But, but just to stay humble, just to stay pure, just to stay pure with your intentions and your vibration and your energy and what you want to send out and spread out and share. And sharing is caring and sharing is very daring. So share your truth, but always do it with the right intention and the right vibration and alignment. Alignment solely staying in your own lane and not um, losing grip of who you are. And I think that's a very big period of self-realization for me in Morningstar is that we've realized to really just be thankful and appreciative and, and not to give in to greed and selfishness and understanding that we're here to show and debunk the dark programs and uh, distorted ways of consciousness because we have a lot of people out here who are continuing this journey and they're getting a lot of power and influence and leadership, but they're doing it not healing their trauma completely, not working on themselves and not wanting to see certain things. And then they get exposed and they, the, anything that is not of the light will always be exposed. So always know that maintain that light, maintain that frequency and maintain that sense of truth and be truth, your, truthful to yourself. And throughout my journey with Warning Star and us teaching each other and us understanding that it's about our relationship with our Heavenly Father. It's not our relationship in putting someone, putting all of our eggs in one basket for another person. You can't get it from your partner. You can't get it from your family. You can't get it from your friend. You're not going to get it from anywhere, but just from the creator of the universe. And... Uh, Let's not focus too much on the negative here, but the positive thing here is that we're here to enjoy, we're here to relax, we're here to ease the tension and to get rid of programs, get rid of small mindedness, get rid of, getting rid of all the limiting beliefs and realizing that we're here to really just thrive and to prosper and to be a blessing. And when your message, when your energy, when what you have embarked on does not become a blessing, we have to check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. So I want to really relate to you all is that I want to be a blessing to the world and I want to be a blessing to you guys. And I don't want to be uh, or come off in any way, shape or form that I'm not doing this with a good intention because I am. And I just wanted to make this message because I feel like there's a lot of people that we can give credence to other people. We can, we can love others. We can treat others with honor and respect and dignity. But at the end of the day, they are not God. They are just another individuation of God. But God is God. And God is the source of all things. And we're only getting our glory from Him. We're only getting our glory from Source. And God allows us to be our own God. And be our own higher self. And be our own higher resonance. So everything that we get is from God and we should be thankful that we get it. And we should be thankful for where we're at. And um, 
Just be humble, have humility, and have compassion. And understand that we're here to be free beings. We are here to embrace our free will and that we're here to have a childlike wonder and splendor and to really just be free and be carefree and love life and be in amazement of everything and in awe of everything. Because when we live in a state of awe and we allow things to surprise us and allow things to flow and manifest, like earlier I was clearing something out of my being, clearing something here out of my solar plexus that was weighing me down on my heart. It was guilt or remorse or it was a sense of unworthiness. And I just did that just like 15 minutes ago before I went live here. So we're all dealing with stuff. We're all dealing with past traumas and we're all dealing with our, our own shadows and, and coming into our mantle and coming into a higher influence and leadership and prosperity and making corporations and civilizations and and wanting to be of service to the earth. But when it starts to be a service to yourself, that is distortion, that is evil, and it's not energetically sound. So we gotta really maintain this sense of wanting to be a blessing to the world. And when we don't, when we start not becoming a blessing for the world, we have to check ourselves. We have to check our heart and we have to check our intentions. And also just understanding that the relationships that we can form and the love that we're here to spread and we're here to be a way maker, a miracle worker, but who is generating the miracle? Who is generating the courageousness out of you? It's God. It's God allowing you to become your own God. It's not you becoming the second savior. And I think we shouldn't sell ourselves short, but we need to know where our place is in this, in this whole enlightenment uh, spiritual community. We need to know where our place is and we need to know where our energy is at. And um, I never want any of you to think that I put myself on a pedestal or Morningstar does either. And uh, yeah, I was very adamant about making this message because I want to be real with you guys. I want to keep it 100. I want to really just tell you that we are not all who we say we are. And I'm not saying that, that when we go live that we don't live our spiritual lives and stuff like that, but we're never close to becoming who we are. We're never going to meet another person who is so more enlightened than you that you should bow down to them. No. I'm sorry, I've never met a person. I've dealt with lots of people. I've interacted with lots of people who were very gifted and that were amazing in their own right. But because of ego, because of vanity, because of self-serving ways, because of self-deceit, and because they are, not, are unwilling to see themselves, truly see themselves, and to let that self die, and to let it all flow off them like a Teflon pan that has oil on it. When people are not willing to face themselves, when people are truly not willing to embrace their higher self and to really come into their gifting, it doesn't allow for them to be promoted and to be um, at a state where they're able to reflect to you. And... Um, there's a lot of people who can have power and who can have authority and are great, great energetic healers and masters and, and people who help with meditation and things of that nature. But because of man, when women and men focus on only that, only the physical perception, the physical senses, when they focus on one person to be their fix, Think about that. It all comes from source. It all comes from God. And it's by the grace of God that I'm here today. And it's by the grace of God that I got to meet a very wonderful person. And then we became a dynamic duo and teach each other and heal each other, pray over each other and things of that nature. And it all happened for a right reason and it all happened and everything in my life that was negative, that was not right, well not right, but you know what I mean, 
that was very negative and losing my mom and losing my sister and and you know being very poor and being surrounded by uh, my mother and father of addicts and things of that nature that it all happened for a transcendent reason and I but you don't see me becoming a, a rights activist because my sister was was raped and murdered you don't see me doing that or being a drug activist and it's just stepping away from distortion and stepping away from what is holding you back and also what you're surrounding your energy with like with the news with negative movies with with anything that is of the dark program and and really uh, decoding that and getting rid of that and understanding that it has to be from a place of the light and some people may have different viewpoints than I do and that's okay and other people may not resonate with this message or jive with it but at the end of the day I want to be a source of genuine love and I want to be real and I want to be honest and I want to be forthright with my gifting and I don't, and um, I, I've just, I've always went live with wanting to bless people. And that's always been my intention. And I always give a prayer of, of, of stepping outside of myself and not having ego, not having vanity, not having greed or selfishness about what I'm going to deliver, but always with the intention of spreading awareness and spreading belonging and spreading love and wanting you guys to live your fullest potentials and live your best life and to see your full potential and to realize that everything is multifaceted and the reality is always trying to show you something. It's trying to give you a sign. It's trying to give you a confirmation. It's trying to give you a vantage point to see within your own truth and to see within yourself and to realize that healing is the journey and this is a healing journey and that we're here to heal every single thing within our innermost being we're here to to debunk our thoughts debunk our ways of thinking of manipulation of deception we all do this and that's why i say we're not all who we say we are is because we have all done something that is distorted and if we can't think that we've never done that or that we haven't spoke out of turn or that we haven't um, done something from another lifetime even that was not in the highest light. But we all, some people have to experience the darkness to see the light. And I do believe that when our masculine and our feminine qualities are in the balance, we are a balanced entity because the feminine is light and the mas the, the feminine is dark, excuse me, and the masculine is light. And when that comes together, when that becomes, that is love and wisdom, love and wisdom, that is balance, that is, it's not, it's not like a teeter-totter that is one way. It's, it's, it's balance within its weight. So when we balance the scales and we balance everything out, then we're able to be at a vantage point where we can teach. But I know for a fact that I always look at it like I haven't, I have not reached my full potential, but I don't believe any of us really reached that in this lifetime, in this incarnation. A lot of us are, are anointed and gifted and wonderful human beings. But when we decide not to really look at ourselves and not to really dig deep and then not to be truthful and not be honest and, and to distort things and to truly make enlightenment something of your own creation that is evil when you make enlightenment about your ideals and that you're right and that you're justified and that you're the victim of anybody who goes against what you say then that is distortion and But I believe we're all human, and I believe we all make mistakes. And I do believe that we can all lose our way sometimes when we want to take this too far. I truly believe that. 
I truly believe if we take it too far and it's not for the for the right reasons. Yeah. But I'm here to let you guys know that I'm trying to do whatever that I do and all the videos that I've made, I've always just wanted people to really live a better life than what the 3D has given them. And to be accepted and to be nurtured and to be safe and to be supported by Source's love. And that we're here to heal ourselves and no matter if you resonate with everything that I say, if you don't get anything about what I just said, just know that it's your internal journey, it's your relationship with God, and it's your relationship with yourself and your self-care and your self-wellness and your and and self-love and self-care and divinity within and, and, and seeing God within yourself. Because that's the greatest illusion to see through is to see God within yourself and within all things and everywhere. Um, and to feed your spirit with the, with the fruits of the spirit and the riches of the spirit and the truth of the spirit and the example of the spirit because we're here to just be an example of spirit. That's what we're here to be. And when we dwell within the negative, when we dwell within the wrongdoings of this world, and when we dwell within uh, how disordered, distorted everything is in this world, and it's like this with musicians, and it's like this with celebrities and movies and all the things in this world that are distorted. But if we focus only solely on that, then we're not willing to see from another vantage point and another perspective. So when people are wanting to even focus on their own shadow, they get, they get caught in a revolving door. Then they're not empowering their situation and or empowering their circumstances and and they are they're diving into a lower density of consciousness so when we when we only stay at one density of consciousness then we're not allowing ourselves to go higher but there needs to be a grounding effect with this that's where balance comes in so like i can go without eating maybe for like this morning i ate when i woke up but sometimes i i try to fast and stuff but if i suppress the food that my body wants that that this god wants that this god needs then i'm not nourishing the vehicle i'm not like if i don't if i don't take a shower i'm not washing the vehicle i'm not oiling it up and and getting the utensils to wash the vehicle and take care of the vehicle we are a vehicle we need to put gas in our vehicle so just because people do grape juice cleanses doesn't make them a god just because people act a certain way or present themselves in a certain way doesn't mean that they're really living their authentic life in a certain way uh, just because someone can be so gifted, but because of, like I said, ego and vanity, it will debunk it. It will shatter it because it's not of the highest light. So just because somebody is really gifted doesn't mean that you should listen to them, but it doesn't mean that you should disregard what they're showing you. It's like I said the other night with the bad teacher and the good teacher. The bad teacher can teach you just the amount of things uh, that the good teacher is teaching you because then they're an example of how not to be. So it's, it's just protecting ourselves and setting boundaries with other light workers and things of that nature. And, and that's why I haven't really wanted to collaborate. It's not that I'm closed in, in my box. It's not like that I'm closed in and that I don't have appreciation for other entities and what they have to teach me and show me because I'm very I'm, I've had to learn to be receptive and that was one of the things that Morningstar because uh, she's had to share some truth with me in a way that I had to understand it and vice versa with her and me so st when sh people are unwilling to see the truth when it's being slapped in their face and it's blatant that they need to look at something. And when you're unwilling to look at it, and I know that I have done that before, and we all do it. But when we have truth being bestowed to us, and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's for us to really learn and grow and mature and expand, then 
when we negate that, then we are not humble and have humility or wanting to grow or wanting to stay in our own box and uh, setting boundaries because people, there's a lot of spiritual vampires out there. There's a lot of people that, that want your gifting, but they can't have it because it's yours. It's your energy. It's your vibration. It's God. It's your relationship with God, I think is the most important at the end of the day is that that is the most important relationship you can ever have is with your creator, with your sense of consciousness and understanding that you are a God, but you're not God almighty. And there's a lot of people that distort this and it's because they're not willing to really see themselves in a certain way. And we have to use experiences and situations and circumstances to really learn and reflections and challenges within our journey to really learn uh, about everything that's in our journey. So if you're on the feed right now, uh, I'm running a special still 30 minutes for $40, 60 minutes for $70 and 90 minutes for $100 psychic readings appointments. So if you need signs and confirmations and all those things, uh, feel free to make an appointment with me. It's on the video that you can message me. I don't know if it shows up, but uh, just message me or Morningstar for an appointment. This is the I Am Movie. If you've never been here, welcome. Gladly welcome you. Um, but I wanted to make this video the other night because I was just um, seeing a lot of things being exposed within the spiritual community and also just a lot of people in churches that have been exposed and, and not dwelling on that, but to learn from it and to not uh, condemn those people, you know, because they're who who are we to judge and yes that they do very bad things but they're humans at the end of the day and they know what they're doing and everything that is of the light uh will be exposed and it will come out and it will so we have to be protective of ourselves and set boundaries and set ourselves apart from that and knowing that we need to be dedicated within our internal journey and what's inside here and what's inside your heart and being aligned with the head and the heart and our relationship with God. That is the most important thing. Um, and I don't know how much I can stress that to you guys is that that is the most important thing. And it's putting all of our faith in him or her, however you perceive God, because you can perceive, you can, you can receive from God in so many different ways, infinitesimally. Uh, God can come to you in a woman and an extraterrestrial. So how I seen God, he was a big giant man with a big beard and white hair. That's how I seen God. But maybe that's not how you seen God, but it's all the same thing. It's all different sources and it's all truth, but it's coming from a different source. So there's a lot of really good, amazing healers and pastors and uh, people out there that are doing the planet a service. I do believe that with my whole heart. Um, but then there's the other side of the spectrum that is not. And we can learn from that and not tap into that energy. But always be a source of genuine love and always be a source of kindness. Take time out of your day to be kind. Uh, exercise and do all those things that make you feel good. And do everything in your power to stay in bliss and not that do you have to desire bliss but that you can know that the assurance of god is going to come through your being and the holy spirit is going to come through your being and flow through you and have holy laughter and joy and this is a time of rejoicing this is truly a time of of enjoying your guys's lives enjoying that you're here enjoying every experience and appreciating life and walking in gratitude and just being free and and just being that that butterfly that's ready to transform with wisdom so if you're coming into the feed right now i'm still running that special uh 30 minutes for 40 dollars, 60 minutes for 70 dollars, and 90 minutes for 100 dollars psychic greetings appointments and healing and all that stuff so uh feel free to share out feel free to donate this is white wolf um usually i was going to go on here for like 20 minutes maybe, but you know how that goes. It, it usually turns into a 30, 40 minute dialogue. Um, but no, just 
pray over your brothers and sisters and and you know send good energy and and be a blessing to people and don't be a, a problem for people and and know that you're here to be your own god stay in your lane protect yourself bless yourself and set boundaries and realize that it's it's your waltz with the creator at the end of the day that matters so thank you guys this was my video um share it out like it love it get more of it and uh welcome to the iron movement if you've never been here and god bless i hope you guys enjoyed my message and have a wonderful day